I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger. Howdy y'all! <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to Friday Numbers! We're going to do it a little bit different this week just because I have not had the time to really go through it and put it all down on a board. Oh well. Alright, we're going to do a slight review of the last couple weeks coming into January. Let's just say January has been bad. Bad January. Bad boy January. On January the 4th, we received a check that we ran on Christmas week, okay? That check I brought home about $771. It was 2,000 miles that I managed to pull. So let's just do the nuts and bolts of it. Total miles was 2,025. Pay miles, 1,798. Deadhead was 227. Fuel, we used 290 gallons. That was comes up to about 38 cents a mile for my total miles. We hauled 146,000 pounds of merchandise. Fuel at that point was 285 a gallon. So, yeah, it was $831 worth the fuel all together like I say we made to the bank 771 on January the 4th now the next week we didn't make nothing for 11 1 11 18 because we put the truck in the shop and I should have got the insurance check in my hand before I put the truck in the shop. Also, I did not do all the work that was required on the truck because I was fearing that it was going to take too long for him to work on it. But, as it turns out, it would have been just as well for me to get a quote on the whole thing instead of just the bumper and let them keep it for a while because as it was I was out of work almost two weeks almost two weeks so there we are 11118 we got a zero check y'all see that little goldish weird looking car up there that's hanging in that left lane he has went from 60 miles an hour to 75 miles an hour to 60 miles an hour to 75 miles an hour. He's from Texas. He must be smoking some of that rabbit weed from over. Alright, when we got our truck out of the shop, our first week to work, we got a check on 118.18. Woohoo! We worked four whole days. Four whole days, by golly. We made $907.71. I managed to pick some really good loads that week. And in those four days, I made 2,800 miles. Total miles, that's from house to house. 2,800 miles. Those loads had very little deadhead. They were paying well. That was the best planning that I could have done for those four days. And I made $907 to my bank at the end of those four days. So I think I did pretty good considering that I wasn't able to leave till that Thursday night or sometime that Thursday. And payday goes in on Monday night. I had good good travels, the weather was good, everything went good that week, but the next week, I come home from a 34, right? It's a Tuesday. Well, while I was
was at home, we had us an Arctic Blast. Yeah, but it's not the good kind of blast like you get a Sonic. It was one of those frigid air masses that came out of Alaska. I reckon they need to keep their cold weather. I'm tired of their cold weather. We had an ice storm that delayed all my stuff. So there again, I wasn't able to leave out until Thursday night again. So, I put some loads together. These were not quite as good. I only made 2,300 miles total. And I ended up with $885 going to the bank. So as y'all know, last year I was making some pretty decent checks. But so far this year, we had a 7, a 9, and an 8. So 125.18, we didn't get much. So January has been all but a bust for me. I'm not even breaking even in my book. I've got bills at the house that need to be paid. So, that's 17 to say 18. About $2,500 this month to take care of all my expenses at home and everything. Not to mention I was a week behind on a bunch of other junk. Because I had a zero check. Those zero checks hurt, y'all. That brings you up to this coming week, which I normally don't do them on the week. So, But it being the end of January just about, I wanted to give y'all just a rundown on how my month has actually been. I am not a fan of January. I cannot wait for January to get over. But if I can manage to put some loads together in the in, in February, like this week here, I should break $1,000 to the bank. I should. Now y'all remember, out of that money, I have got to take out any maintenance I've got to take out anything extra for the truck. Scales, whether I need gallons of oil, antifreeze, fifth wheel grease, whatever I may need for my truck has to come out of that money that hits my bank, okay? So let's just say I just washed my truck and it has been a while since I washed my truck it was so dirty they had a hard time getting the grime off of it and I couldn't even grape at them because I saw them scrubbing with their brushes with their hands they tried their best to get it all clean they 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 did fair but this thing was dirty y'all this thing was dirty got my little cruise set on this thing. It's trying to back me off of this truck in front of me, but it keeps getting slower. We're not even going uphill. Hey, well, January was not a wonderful month. I'm hoping that February will be better. Well, we'll just see. You know, there's been some crazy stuff going on with the load board. I'm hoping that they'll get some of that straightened out. Matter of fact, for the first time last week, I found out something weird and scary. No, not really. Y'all ever heard of a phantom load? Yeah, it's a load that gets put in your Qualcomm that don't actually exist. I had to go in there and make it active and go through all the steps in order to make it disappear but up there at uh, the office they weren't showing anything on me but the load that I was on and my pre-assignment there wasn't no sign of the one that was in the middle and it was a three-stopper so I 
I had to go through every step and you know when you put in your time it has to be after your departed time so you, it took me like five to ten minutes to get rid of that load you had to punch in your truck you had to go through every step to make that disappear it was weird a phantom load some kind of it's a known software issue it's weird at least that's what I was told they you know would just go through it and to get rid of it now he had plenty of room he could have waited to get over he didn't have to cut in that close on me but yeah I've been on low board a lot lately trying to find loads and more and more of the loads that I find since I've started a year and a half ago are delivering on Monday the hard, there's a lot less delivering on the weekend there's a lot of loads that have four five days on them you know some of my loads that I used to call my my, my gravy are now scheduled they start showing up on the load board five days six days ahead of time and they disappear before it gets close enough for me to schedule them in my runs if I go ahead and pick them, then I would have to insert shipments and stuff. And I am not a fan of the insert shipment thing. It's just not because it's too it's too risky for me. If they don't want to insert your shipments, you're kind of stuck with what you have. There's a highway man on the side of the road. Just sitting there waiting to ruin somebody's day. But yeah, that's been my January. Full of weirdness and, and strangeness. Low funds. But hopefully February will be better. After all, Valentine's Day is in February. Spread the love, people. Spread the love. Schneider, spread the love. Give me some money. Give me some good loads. Shorten them dang gum windows. We need some of that freight. Pick up on Friday, deliver on Saturday. Pick up on Saturday, deliver on Sunday. About $800 a trip. That's the kind of stuff we need out here to make the money. But at this moment, folks, I, if I had this to do over again, I don't know if I would. Don't know if I would. Things got to get better. I don't know if I can recommend it right now unless somebody just really wanted to come in and, and didn't have a lot of home expenses I'm the only I'm the only money that comes into my household so when my business don't do good things don't do good at home mama don't like having her check cut mama likes having that money and when mama ain't happy ain't nobody happy and then when you throw me getting sick going in the hospital of which I'm still dealing with a couple of things from that Golly, I can't wait for January. Be oh my, I don't know if I've said it enough. But I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep up the numbers videos as the future goes. Uh, I don't know. Because things are kind of hectic right now. I've been kind of busy. i got a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot easier for me to do a video like this. I know the sound quality is not the best. I will try to work on that and make it better. But as long as my truck will keep acting right and won't have no more of those DEF flashes or anything come on. And I still need some tires. And still got a few issues with her that I need to get worked out. But when you're only making seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a week total to your bank. And you still got to take your maintenance and stuff out of that. Things can tend to get kind of tight. Uh-oh. D.O.T. done got new century. Oh, boy, they got you good, don't they? Got both the cops out there with you. Lord have mercy on them. Say a prayer for them, y'all. All right, I'm going to let y'all go. God bless. Hallelujah. See you later.